Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hall of L.A. Serena. The Steve and I. 
Your next senior, a forward, number 19, Jimmy Pollack. Jimmy has played two seasons in the cross. His first as an assistant captain. He's also transferred from Britain and from college. Jimmy will be graduating with a degree in psychology. He's accompanied by his mom, Barr, and his dad, Jim, and his sister, Sammy. Thank you for the contributions to the road and ice hockey. Congratulations, Chairman, and best of luck. Expectations throughout his career. As a freshman, Etch 
as the last kick on the roster, the leader went out to score an OT goal in the region to send the team in the region final. Finally, the team is by our standards for obvious play with the pit level and attention to detail. And the team's first fatality, Brian will be graduating with a degree in communication studies. He's accompanied by his mom, Sarah, and his dad, Robert. Thank you for the contributions to Rhode Island. Congratulations, Standard, and the best of luck. Your next player, and senior, a goal, number 35, Kyle Reed. Kyle has played in all seasons for the Cross. The first an assistant captain. Kyle has done a tremendous job during the behind the scenes as the club's president in the past two seasons. He is a 2019-2020 recipient of the Roman Hockey Hank Van Dusen Award. Kyle has graduated with a bachelor's in science and civil environmental engineering. He's currently pursuing his MS in civil and environmental engineering. He's talking by his mom, Kate, and Dan Chris, and his brother, Zach. Thank you for the contribution to Road and Ice Hockey. Congratulations, Kyle, and best of luck. Your next senior, our last senior, from defense, number two, Jared Cullen. Jared played in only detail, he crossed. His second in a leadership group, first as a team captain. Jared has come to the same year as a new coaching machine and was asked to anchor as a team core from the moment he stepped foot on the campus. Jared has set the tone season as a leader on and off the ice in the cross. Jeremy will be graduating with a degree in finance. He is accompanied by his mom, Randy, and his dad, Jim, and his aunt, Terry, and his uncle, John, Todd. Thank you for the contributions to Roman Ice Hockey. Congratulations, Jared, and the best of luck. Thank you to all the seniors for the contributions to Roman Ice Hockey. At this time, can we have all the seniors come back for a photo and an applause, please?
and welcome in to Saturday Night Hockey here at Holly Dell Ice Arena in Sewell, New Jersey, where your Rowan Ice Profs are taking on Providence tonight on Senior Night, which you just saw the Profs giving all their seniors all the credit they can tonight and allowing them to have that special moment with their loved ones and family as we're getting ready to drop the puck in a couple of minutes. I'm myself, Nick Butler, alongside my color commentator. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, guys. I'm Chris Cazillo. Uh, and uh, it's your first game with me tonight, right? Yeah. All first right, one. Well, this is going to be a fun one for you tonight. As the Profs are coming in, Looking pretty good. I mean, you know, there's going to be the ups and downs of seasons, wins and losses, but the team as a whole, they're, they're really playing really well. Uh, I think I think Coach DeMonte really has the, the roster he likes, the team he likes. Um, and and the, the, the invigoration of youth has been huge for this team this year, as a lot of these young guys have come out and really uh, taken to it. And as, you, as you're seeing on these warm-ups here, these guys are pretty loose tonight. They look really loose, and it, that makes for a good game when the guys are loose. Yeah. Coming into tonight, your top two point getters of the team are JT Zingara and Jimmy Pollock. But your leading goal scorer is Ryan Scott. And as always, I, every game that I call, Ryan Scott is one of those guys along with Dyer and, and, the, and the kid line, pretty much, are the kids that you need to watch because that line brings energy, and they, they get scoring chances. And, you know, add that in with the with the team that's already been here with the vets. This team is dangerous, and they're poised to go into the playoffs this year. And I think after last season, a lot of these guys, they know that this could be their last chance, especially the guys that were out there tonight, being, being celebrated by the team. They're looking to get that opportunity, and they want to go back into the playoffs this year and not get bounced the way they did last season. It was not fun at all for them last year. They got bounced out 801. It was not fun. And you know, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be work. And I think this team is ready for it. It took this team a little bit really to get on a roll. And it, once they got on that roll, it's it's <laughs> it's been rolling. It's like a wheel, you know. It's just it's going, it's going, it's going. So Coach Demonte has been preaching all season to me. It is about family. It's about playing the right way. And it's about giving effort. And the guys you have out there are exactly that. These are guys that have shown that they can play continuously on this level and at this level and deserve to be up on this team because there are plenty of kids and other players on that D3 roster that could honestly be up on this D2 team. And they know that they're coming. They know that they're coming and, and at any time, these D3 kids could make it up to the D2 roster. So I think on that note, on that note, I think that's that's one of the reasons why you have to be able to continuously play as hard as you can every night. So Providence coming in tonight, they don't really have... The top scorer is Michael Teneu, who has 11 points in 20, 20 games, six, four goals and seven assists. And I, I, I think coming in, they're ranked, they're ranked, if I remember correctly, they were ranked ninth in the north in the northeast in their rankings. So with that being said, this should be a little bit of an easier game for the Bronx. But you can't get complacent. You can't come in, you can't get complacent when it comes to comes to something exactly like that, where where you know that you're playing a team that may not be as good as you. Providence is 17th in the Northeast, and Rowan is 9th in the Southeast. And like as we were discussing, it doesn't matter about seating any given night. Yeah, like they say, anything can happen on any given night. So on to our goalies. Cuella and Kyle Rink have both been playing really well, and that's why Coach DeMonte has kind of been going with the with a little bit of a goalie tandem here this season, and, and both these guys have really worked and they've worked hard to be where they are right now and, and to be there. And, and Coach DeMonte understands with them being graduates and, and getting ready to move on into the world that this is really their last chance to make that push yeah. and, and potentially get to where, you know, they want to be. So there's, there's one final push here for the props before going into the playoffs as we're getting closer and closer. And Coach DeMonte was talking to me before the game telling me exactly that, that they're getting ready to make that push into the playoffs and 
and they want to take it. So with that being said, let's see how the Prowse come out and play tonight.
welcome back to Hollydale Ice Arena here in Sewell, New Jersey, as your round props are going to be taking on the Providence Friars. And I am geared up, ready to go after, after the ceremonies we've seen tonight. That singing of the national anthem is always a senior night here as we're getting ready to drop the puck here at Center Ice. What you feeling, Chris? How you feeling? Feeling excited, feeling nervous. I'm, re I'm ready. Let's go. Let's get it. And as you saw the starting lineups tonight, we're going to go with that Jimmy Pollock line. Of course we are. Jimmy Pollock is tied to points on this roster with 22. As we get ready. And the props win the faceoff. They bring it back into the zone. Dropped over as they're moving up. Dumped back in. Fryer goalie out to play it. Puck dumped back into the far corner. Cohen dumps it back in around. No one there for the props to get as the Friars are able to get there first. Friars looking to move it out. The props able to regain possession. The Friars regain it here. So they're looking to move it out, but the props get a turnover. So far as the puck's battling deep, props go off to get a change, get some fresh legs off. And already we're seeing some energy from this props team. Yeah. Props looking to move forward. Picked off in the middle there. Friars with the puck, looking to move it. Oh, almost got that in there. And that's going to be played with a high stick if they touch it. Prof goes down. Friar all alone in front, almost. Coming around. Good pickups there by the Prof defensively. And the Prof can move it out. That's a shot blocked away by Rink. As the Profs are looking to move here. Turned over in the neutral zone. Friars look to pick it up, moving into the zone. Bat of the way. Props are going to move it. Don't really have numbers here. It's going to be a two on five. Doesn't matter as they go to the net. But that was Frateroli who took the puck all the way down ice there. The defenseman stepping up into the offensive zone. As he gets back and is racing towards the puck here. Conlin out there. Big body to watch tonight. As he's looking to move forward, trying to get that puck in that battle. As he's able to retain it. Not able to move it forward, but he still remains possession as he's pushing it forward. And that's going to be Fred Roly who just dumps that in. Conlon first to get there, but is unable to re retrieve the puck as the Friars have it. Friars looking to move out of their zone. The Profs bat it back in. Friars have it into the neutral zone, dump it in to the right of Rink. And that's going to be over the head of a, of a, of a Friar. As the Profs continue to look to forecheck here and try to get something going. And that was Dave Cutler that just sent it around the boards here. Shot on Rink, Rink sent it away. Cutler there to get it. Cutler moving up ice, looking to break out. That was a little bit of a big hit. Kind of thrown off there by Tanner Schroeder. Another senior for tonight. As the Profs look to get a shot on net. And just, just out of the stick went there. Looked like a blocked shot. Pross getting some fresh legs on the defensive end here. And that's going to be a penalty on the Friars. Looks like it was a cross check. No, I think it's a slash. Is it a slash? Yeah, it's a slash. Looks like it's a slash. Pross are getting the power play here. Main advantage for the Pross if they win possession. Pross look to set it up as they set up in their usual umbrella. Shuffle the point, that's a goal! I don't know if that was a redirection. And that, if that stands, looks like it's gonna be a goal for the Pross by number 10, Paul Keys. Man, what a shot. That Is that Paul Keys? Where is that? Is that Rudolph? Is that 20 who scored that? I think it was Rudolph there. Man, that was a great shot from the point. A lot of that traffic. Shot. Still in sure. We'll have to see. Oh. It is going to be Rudolph's goal there. Rudolph got the goal. Unsure if it was touched going into the net at first. But you saw... You saw in front that it wasn't redirected by another prop. As that set in, and Rink's just going to glove it down. 
And that was Elliot Sean that was in the middle that was pointing to, to Rudolph there, saying that I didn't touch it, I didn't touch it. Okay. As the cross are gonna get the face off here to the right of ring. That goal by Rudolph, that guy with the straight and fire with a great ball. Great ball. Good awareness from Rudolph there to take that shot as the cross look to move it out of their zone. One nothing lead here thanks to the power play goal by Rudolph. Cross are gonna move it in. Got some energy tonight. Puck moved. Rudolph turned it over there. Cohen made the play. Shot on net. Rink there, rink there. Bat of the way. Good defense by the Prowse. That was a big hit thrown there by McDonald. As the Prowse are looking to move it up. First ones to get there. Man in front. I'm just unable to tap it home. And that was Chandler who just couldn't tap that home. That was almost to a stick for, for one team right in front as the Friars looking to move it up. They don't have the numbers, but they're going off for a change here. Cross are able to push it at least into the neutral zone. They're going to try to get a couple fresh legs here. I was close to a too many men penalty. Got to be a little bit of awareness of that by the Cross here. Luckily not was he called. It's the Cross to continue to move it up ice. Puck moved through the zone. Right around, almost picked off there, and it is. Well, that was picked off by Will Garrison, who dropped it in. Will Garrison first with the puck, gets it in front, tries to get it to Dyer, but couldn't get it. Puck still kind of in front, the cross unable to knack, link up there. Fryer is moving through the zone. Drop pass, trying to find something with the cross with some active sticks, as they're looking to move now. Three on three. Four on four as they're getting a guy to the bench for a fresh legs. Conlon back at the point. Pass over. Cutler shot. Blocked off. Ref had to make a quick little dodge there so it didn't hit him. Smoy Pross going off for a quick change here. This guy are going off. As the Friars look to move it in. That's going to be an icing. Man, what, what pressure from the Pross already right now. Yeah. Great, great pressure by the Pross. And they're, they're looking like they're going to get another one here. It looks like they're forcing uh, Providence to just dump the puck every time because they can't get in the zone at all. As the face is going to be to the right of ring, left of the front. Right. Puck is trying to be batted in there. And now he's trying to be batted in by number three, Matt Egan. Egan. But he hit a body. Cutler steps up to play it. Unable to, he falls down. Three on two. Oh, what a great breakup. Good save there by Rink. Puck is still loose. Unsure where it was. But what great hustle by Tanner Schroeder to get back. Rink had no idea where that puck was. No. He had no idea where that was. But if it wasn't for Tanner there, that was a three on one forming. And Schroeder got back to help out the defenseman there. Very Cutler, play. Cutler stepped up to make a play, just wasn't able to pinch the puck. As they win the face off, the Friars. Shot blocked off by Rink. Cross are going to move it up. It wasn't enough strength. That's all right as the Friars just dump it back in. Cross able to get there. It's still fighting for it. Friars get there, but no problem. As the Friars are getting the breakaway here. That's going to be a. Did he have a step? Looks like they're just going to go on the power play here. That Looked was like a, he had the step, but... Yeah. I mean, that was a clear penalty. I mean, he took him right down. The cross are going to go back on the power play here. Unsure as to who that, what prop that was that got that great breakout to get ahead of the pack there and make a great move to get down, but... Cross are back on the power play. One for one tonight. Little goal by Rudolph. Shot blocked off by a Friar goalie. Great save. Cross looking to set up. Get somebody back in that bumper position once again as they're set up in the umbrella. Going cross ice here. Cross continue to set up back to the point. To the side of the umbrella. Nothing there. Cross looking to set back up. Try to get back to the top of the point here. The work here is to try to get it into that bumper position for a one-timer, but they're just unable to get it through the middle of the ice. The Friars are playing some really good defense to block off that center of the ice here. Conlon drops it down low. 
Back to the top to Rudolph. Rudolph playing catch. Pass over. Weird angle shot. That puck's gonna go all the way back. Rudolph's there. But the props are gonna opt for a line change. They're gonna come back in with speed here. That's gonna be Dyer. Looking for something to form. 53 seconds left on this power play for the profs. Punk sending deep. Back to the point. That's Cohen. Cohen over to the right circle. Oh, it just took a big hit. And that was number 18 on the profs. That was Chandler who just took that big hit there. The puck came in. He just had his head down for a second and just got bulldozed. Chandler sends it back in. Dyer to the puck. Dyer sends it down low. Cohen fires it on net. Ooh, looked like it might have been redirected by Zingara. Zingara's been the low man here. Nine seconds left in the power play. Shot outside. Ooh, looked like that might have just hit off the glass. Yeah. Little, little extracurriculars there. Not much, though. Yeah. Yeah. It looked like he had a little, little open net, but he missed it wide. That was great pressure by the props. They're, they're pressuring, they're yeah. pressuring, they're pressuring. And uh, that's something that we've seen a lot from them this season is that when they're able to set up, they're dangerous. They're very dangerous when they're right. able to set up. As the props have three seconds left in this power play. Not really much time to do anything with it. As even strength back again. The props are going to make something happen while five on five hockey. Is that puck hit the ceiling? Yeah. That was just some really great, great work by the drop there. Face off is going to be to the left of rink, right of the Friar goaltender. Shot blocked. Cross again. Blocked that clearing attempt. Sent back in. Dumped in deep. Prior net minor plays it. Puck still in deep as the Pross battle for it alongside the Friars here. And that puck is sent in behind the net deep. Friars there, turned it over. Pross with the puck, looking for something. Unable to get that puck in front. I don't know who they were looking for. But now the Friars coming in with speed, makes a great move, but good defense. That was really good defense there. That was a great defensive play. As the Pross continue to, to work here. Puck behind, Cutler goes out to play it. Oh, oh. And just misplayed. And Rink just got a pat on that, and Cutler getting in front of that too, just to help out his netminder. Good play. Great cover by Rink, great cover. I think that was Garrison that misplayed that puck that led to that. Back to that earlier play with that good defensive play coming into the zone. That was Nick Thomas who made that great play for the profs. As the puck's batted out deep. And that was that was Elliot Sean looking to get to that puck to be the first one there. Would have given him a breakaway. The Friars just sent one across, across the crease. Nothing too dangerous. Redirection shot. Rink there to cover it up. Rink has just been smothering these shots, not really giving him too many great chances. He's seen the puck really well tonight. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be a turnover there from the Friars. Unable to capitalize with the props as the Friars are going to look to move it back out again. Turned it over as they were just looking to send it out for the home run pass. And the props clear lane to the net. Rebound. No one there to pick it up. Cutler looking to make something happen. Send it back to the point. Point shot. Oh, that's a big hit. And that was that was Matt Egan who just took that huge hit at the point. But he even on his back, he went out to still make a play with that stick. It's good perseverance there as the cross with the move. Cutler with the puck. Drops it back. Shot on. I get his block. Puck dumped in deep. Cross continuing to battle here. And if they continue to keep battling this way, they're going to get another goal. They just got to keep aching at it and aching at it. And one will eventually go in the net. 
as the cross look to reset back into their own neutral zone. Just active six here for the Profs early on still. Nine minutes left in this first period. One nothing game, and that's gonna be another penalty here. It looks like on the Friars. We're sharing some extracurriculars here. And that's Dante Ardite sticking up for his teammate here. Looks like we're gonna get some four and four hockey for that little for the exchange. As the refs are currently figuring this out, let's see where this is. I think it's back, it's back in the prop zone. And we're gonna get some four and four hockey here. And that was Cameron Chandler. Cam Chandler is going to the box for that little bit of of extracurriculars with number 13 from the Friars. Tim Timothy Rooney. <laughs> number 13 from the Friars. <laughs> the puck's dropped. There's a lot of ice out here right now. Four and four hockey for the next two minutes. Ross going to look to Take advantage of this. They've been very good this year on four on four. Because they're going to look to break out on the ice here. Moving into the zone, dropped. Dropped in deep. Pross, I think we get there as they turn it over. And that was number 17 for the Pross. Holland, who was working hard down there to keep possession of the puck and look for something to happen. Pross move up, that's Chase Dyer. Dyer with a beautiful move inside out. Had no help there, was looking for somebody in the poke, poke check by a fryer. As the puck continues to move forward. Turnover. Cross jumping on the turnover here. Shot. Looks like it just missed the net. That's caught with the shot. Almost looked like he almost got a redirection off of a fryer there off that skate. But that is shoot up right away by the fryer netliner. That was a good shot by uh, Jared Cohen right there, but the but the goalie just saw it and made a great made an easy save. As the cross are going to set up here, as a four of four continues to be played out, 54 seconds left on the offsetting penalties. Puck shot on. Fryer is looking to get it out of the zone. They're moving through. No help. Lone Fryer. Shot on rink. Rebound in front, and they score. And the Friars able to get a goal there as Rink rebounded that off to the right side. Trailer came in for goal scored by Seamus Carillon. And that was a goal there off of, off of determination. He followed up the play, found the rebound, and was able to just throw that in the back of the net there. And if you're the profs, you need to be aware of that guy trailing into your zone. He was wide open on the other side. All three props were focused up on the, on the, on the shooter, original shooter. And they didn't see the goal scorer walking right in behind them. And now we're back to even here, 1-1. One, one, as the props are going to look to regain that lead here. 30 seconds left on those offsetting penalties. As they're going to continue to move forward here. Friars able to knock that puck away. But the props are able to turn it back over here in the neutral zone. As they're looking to get a shot on net. One over the, one over the glass. And that was Terry Schroeder who made that play. And that's sure determination. I mean, that, there's something I said about this team all year is their perseverance. They, they, they bought in to Coach DeMonte's system. They bought into his words. And they've been determined. Every game is determination that they have. And they work hard. They work hard and they want to get these wins and they want to get the leads here. So the props back in their own zone, looking to move forward. Nine seconds left on the offsetting penalties. Probably going to move forward, unable to get their stick through as the Friars move back up. That's going to be offside. Shot a little late there after the whistle, but when you're coming to that zone, you're kind of just looking to fire it. And the penalties that are offsetting are done. We're going to go back to even strength hockey here. See what the cross can do. Let's see if the cross can answer back here and get themselves back on top. 
across from the face-off. Looking to move it forward to the neutral zone. Puck moved across. Friars able to get a stick on that. Some active sticks. First one back to get the puck is Holland. Holland moving it around behind the net. Looking for somebody as he's going to be swarmed by a couple of Friars there. Just sent it back around. Ref in the way. That puck's out in front. That's Holland, first one to the puck there. He's got a two-on-one developing. And he scores! No goal! No goal, no goal. They, they waved it off. I and that's Echevarria that made that great move after the, after the puck was sent to him by Holland. I thought for sure that was in the net. I thought for sure. I was a little, I was a little off my timing there on shore. I saw the sticks go up, so I got up. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a stance. That's going to be a no-goal call. So let's see if the Prowse can just answer that back and get another one here. Pucks it back into the neutral zone. Prowse, four-check in here. The four-check in game has been pretty good for them tonight. They've had the energy for it. Pucks that in. Holland there. Holland takes the hit. The Friars are just looking to move the body here. Rink trying to swallow that up. A couple extra legs, nothing too crazy. Rink able to get that puck. A large body of guys in front of that, but Rink was able to find it and just smother it. Face off here is going to be to the left of Rink. And some props are going to look to win this face off here and dictate the pace again. 5.48 left in the first period, 1-1 one, one game. Cross got their goal off of their power play thanks to Rudolph. The Friars got theirs on a four-on-four -four rebound goal. One goal that I think the, the Cross definitely would want to have back. It was the one where the guy was on, on the other side wide open. Face off again to the left of Brink. Tanner Schroeder taking the face off. Cross lose this face off, and they fan on it, the Friars. Cross just unable to get there. Still able to get it from the neutral zone. Whack that in. That was off of a Friar. That looked like that hurt. That's why I'm glad I'm up here and not down there. There's the Prowse sent it in front. Puck sent off. There's the puck. Friars pick it up. The Friars are just looking for that home run pass right now, and the Prowse are kind of just giving it to them. Got to remind themselves that they got to stay here defensively because that was a big reverse hit. That was by Tanner Schroeder with the reverse hit. And they're just going to send it on net for a cover-up. That was Tanner Schroeder again. And that's something you want to see. You know you're getting hit tonight. Try and start, start throwing the body the other way. The biggest thing for the props here is that they need to, in the offensive zone, they got to establish pressure. They have to establish it. If they want to get this next goal. 4.56 left. In this period, 1-1 one, one game. Face-off to the right of the Friar goaltender, and the Friars win that face-off. The Prowse, Paul Keyes, first able to get there. Send it in deep. Prowse looking to get there. Able to get that turnover. Puck still there. Set up. Looking for something to develop. And what a goal! What an absolute shot there with a pass across. And the Profs regain the lead here. Amazing forward check by the Profs. Pressure the Friars into that. And that's going to be a goal. It's looking like... It's looking like Jacob McDonald's in the front here. So it's looking like that's going to be his goal. But what great pressure by the Profs to work their way back into that zone and cause that turnover. But they didn't stop. When the puck seemed like it was going back out, they didn't stop. They kept fighting. And they were able to get that puck back in there. And that's just a perseverance goal there by McDonald. Just an outstanding play. Bang, bang. Cross, great cross face goal. As the Profs look to move forward here, they got the momentum. 2-1 game. 426 left. Cross moving from the neutral zone into the zone. Good keep by the Pross. Back into the neutral zone as the Friar hit that. Man, he is working. He is trying to take on the whole team right now. Wearing the same number as a certain 
former alum of this, this rink here, who used to play for the Highdale Hurricanes, number 13, Johnny Gaudreau, as we all know, hometown boy. As the props continue to work here, and that's going to hit the ceiling. Uh, they've had some big names come through this rink here over the years. Tony D'Angelo, Johnny Gaudreau. Wow. Guys who played here, you know, and it seems like more guys are coming out of here. These Hollydale Hurricanes, man, they're, they're developing some prospects out here. And you got the Rebels across the way. You got the Philadelphia Hockey Club. There's some good stuff to see here if you ever want to come out and check a game along with the props. Both the men and women's team play out here along with the D3 men's team. Always some good time here at Hollydale Ice Arena. 3.40 left in the first period. 2-1 game for the profs. Profs have the puck. Looking for something to develop. Backhand pass. Nobody there able to pick it up. The Friars are they're just swarming the puck carrier at this point. But they have the speed to be able to do that to get themselves back out. This is a very fast team as we've seen. As Dyer's coming into the zone, going to take a shot from that right side. Off. Cutler. Looking to dump it in. Cutler getting his own dump in there. Send it back up the boards. Back over. And that was number three, Egan, who couldn't handle it. As the Friars are coming in, Rink covering that side of the net. That was a great save by Rink. Friar asking for something. I don't, I don't know if he was asking for a, a hook. I don't know what he was asking for. He had no angle to shoot there anyway. So, right there to cover up. We're going to play on. Friars looking to send it in. That was a big hit. And that was laid out by number five of the profs, Dante Ardite. The same prof earlier who was standing up for his teammates. As this is a three on two developing here for the Friars. Rebound in front. Profs unable to clear it. Friars have it. Just sent in deep by the Friars. Still the first ones to get there. Sent in front. Unable to handle it. Sent across crease here. Profs a little bit on their heels in the zone. Friars continue to have the puck. Unable to pick it up with the Profs. Friars still have possession here. They're going to call offsides? What are they going to call here? I don't know what they're calling here. Offsides? Yeah. Maybe it was such a high stick. They didn't really explain the call there, so. Works in the Profs' favor, as that's going to be in their offensive zone here. 2.16 left in the first, 2 1 lead for the Profs. Friars win that face off, though. They're unable to maintain it, and that's just going to be sent in. That was by Schroeder. Profs looking to fight for the puck here. Rudolph at that end, looking to get the puck from the forward check. Moving in. Ooh, almost had a good move there. Profs in front, Schroeder over. And Sean has been very, very active here. Rudolph, shot on that, puck in front. Profs got some energy here, got some Got them hemmed in. Conlon takes a shot. That's going to be out of the zone. Is that going to be enough time for the Friars to get enough of a change? And the Friars are able to get two guys off the ice here. The Profs continue to swarm. Shot looked like it was blocked. Rudolph sent down deep Schroeder. Profs looking for something as they're continuing to work here and work hard. Shot in, off. Cohen has been very, very active as well on that blue line for this cross team during this, this time in the zone. Almost was able to keep that up. He's just gonna dump that. He takes a little bit of a big hit. He's ready to come off. He was out there for a little bit of time. 45 seconds left in this first period. As the Friars send it in. Cross looking to move it up. 36 seconds left. They're moving up with speed right now. This poke delay from the Profs. Sent in deep. Shot. 
Puck continuing to go in deep here from the cross. Looking for something. Looking to get any type of shot on net here. Seven seconds left. There's a cross who's going to dump it, and that's going to do it for the period here. As the props battled, and they fought hard to get that 2-1 lead here. And it seemed like they got some more energy after, after the, the goal was scored. It seemed like they became less complacent and they started battling more again. And that's something you were saying earlier. You know that this is a little bit of an inferior opponent. Like I was saying before, they, they kept the puck in the zone, they kept the pressure, and they got that second goal. They, the that, and when the props are battling, as you were saying, they're getting their opportunities. Right. As the props come off here, what would you like to see from the props in the second period? Just um, keep on the pressure. Don't take the foot off. The, don't, don't take the foot off the gas. Um, watch everyone. Watch a bunch of. Watch them in front of the net. Uh, that's that's basically it. All right, we will be back for the second period here. Nick Butler, Chris Gazillo, we'll see you.
Welcome back to Saturday Night Hockey here at Hollydale Ice Arena in Sewell, New Jersey as your Velen Profs are taking on the Providence Friars. And the Profs left the first period with a 2-1 lead, working hard, battling, and just staying, staying with that perseverance to get that 2-1 lead. And man, they have looked good tonight here on Senior Night. Yes, they sure have. They, like I said earlier, they've been putting on the pressure and now they have a 2-1 lead. Hopefully they can hold, hold up to it like they, like they did in the first. And we'll see how it plays out. Rick has been incredible for the props tonight. I mean, he, he's been making great saves. The defense has stepped up to help him get rid of those rebounds that have been given up. The props as a whole, as a whole team, have been very good. As long as they can continue to keep that pressure up, they're going to be fine tonight. And play that, um, that in, the def in the defensive zone, playing better D. I expect, I expect a very big period here from that Zingaro line. Yeah. From Zingara, and I expect a big period from Pollock here. Another senior tonight. As the game is underway here for the second period, puck into the prof's own end. They're looking to move it. And Colin, who's been a big piece of the night so far, gets the start here in the second period. That's Cohen moving it up. And that's going to be brought up to the bed, bread basket, but you know what? That's good work by him. He fought his way all the way through and just great patience to final lane to the net there. It was a, it was a, good, it was a good shot, but you got to get more. more. The cross turn it over. Friars are going to move it. They got some speed here, and they've been pretty speedy tonight. But as for the other aspects of the game, there's a little bit to the left of the Zyre. The speed, though, they have really been working on that speed game. But their, their passing has been a little off. They, if they were able to get a little more tape-to-tape -tape passing, this team would be dangerous right now. Yes, very. The Friars have had some good chances as well. But as it stands, goalies have been standing on their head, and that's why it's a 2-1 game here. It's the Profs lead it. Goals in the first period for the Profs were a power play goal and an even strength goal. Goal for the Friars were off of a four-on-four. Four. That was a rebound goal. Puck blocked off. Profs looking to move it forward. Break it out. Unable to get there. That was Jay Steyer, but that was in his skates. Friar falls down, but Steyer able to get the puck. Looking to go into the middle and turns it over. As the Friars just turn it right back over themselves. That was Fred Rolly that tried to find Dyer there. And Dyer gets it. I don't know what that Friar was doing. The net was knocked off. I don't know what that Friar was doing. He tried to go between his legs right next to his goalie. I'll never question it, but I guess that was a good play there. The Cross are going to get a face off here with the net being off. It works, it works. Listen, they don't ask how you do it, they just ask you do it. Right. <laughs> As the Pros continue to battle here, face-off goes to the Friars' advantage here, but the Pros able to battle here and get that puck back, comes back to the neutral zone. Friars have it. Friars dumping it in deep. Pros looking to go to the puck first. They're looking to move with speed. It's going to be Egan that tried to get there with speed. Cutler walking up through the ice here. Shot blocked. He's still there. That was weird. I don't know what happened there. Looked like he fanned on the pass. Color looking to get back. Friars onto the net there. Ooh. That's going to be a Friar down. He went into the boards hard. That does not look good. I'm unsure what happened there. That was a very quick bang bang play. Cutler's going to go to the box here. And the Friars all right. He's skating off on his own power here. It looks like. You never want to see that happen to a player like that. You never want to see it. I don't know if the stick got caught in the skates or what happened there, but it, like I said, it was a really bang-bang play. This Cutler's going to go to the box and serve two minutes here, probably for tripping. The Friars are going to get a power play. One the Profs 
don't really want here in the beginning of the second period as they're trying to get some more momentum here and maybe get an insurance goal. But as it stands, they're going to have to kill off a man advantage for two minutes. Bosch looking to move it out. Won the face off, but just unable to clear it. That's gonna not get cleared. It looked like it was gonna hop over the stick on the fryer, but wasn't. But that one is. Is that one sent out of the zone? The fryer's looking to move it forward. Playing catch at their own end here as they're looking to move forward. Circling back. Looking for help. Finds it. Fryer's almost turned it over there. They did, as that's set in. And that's the props looking to fight in there. Number 14. Looking to fight to try to get that puck back. That's going to be another penalty on the props here. And that's going to leave them here for a five on three. But that's something, if you're Coach DeMonte, you do not want that. Take. This is not a good time for them to be taking penalties like that. But as it stands, you're going to have to battle and we're going to have to have to continue to work here. I mean, as of right now, they've been, they've been, they've been playing great teams, so let's see how it pans out. It's going to be a five on three for about a minute and four seconds in total for the Friars. They're going to ask a lot of rink here to really keep that puck out of the back of the net. Rick has definitely been superior tonight. He's been shutting them down all night. Friars looking to set up here. And that's going to be blocked by Kyle Rink. Swallowed up there. It looks like the Friars are playing a 1-2-2 two, two maybe? They don't really have anybody in front of the net here. It looks like they're playing from the outside, but that's also the way that the props are designed here in the three. They're three guys set. 39 seconds left on this 5-on-3. 131 on the second penalty for the props here. Friars win the possession of the puck off the faceoff. Pass across. Shot. Stop by Ring. Another stop. What a great save. That was a great save by Ring. And that's a fan by the Friar. He went down and hit the ice pretty hard. Fires looking to move it forward. Set back up. Now it looks like they're more in a traditional umbrella setting. Four seconds left on this two-man advantage for the Friars. And that's another body out for the props here as they're continuing to kill off this penalty. Big block shots here by the profs. Matt Egan, that's look, Matt Matt Egan. Egan. He looks hurt. Hey. He just locked that shot off his leg. And he's okay. doing what he can here. They got it cleared. They've been out there for like... Here go the profs on the other way. Looking to make something happen. And that was Zekavaria who just tried to make a move there. Just, just lost the puck. Made a little bit too strong of a move. 17 seconds left on this man advantage for the Friars. Prof still battling, looking to kill off this penalty. That's another fan. Great block stick there by the Profs. One second, and that's killing off the man advantage. Puck set out in front, and what a save! The defense is coming up huge right now for the Profs. Alongside great, Rink. That was a great kill by, by the Profs. They really needed that. The Friars continue to look to battle here with tired legs on the ice for the Profs. The Profs can really use a clear right now. And they're gonna get it. And the Profs are gonna get it on a two on two. Puck set in. Schroeder there, unable to maintain it. Pollock trying to battle for that puck. No call there. Schroeder. Tapped it in the neutral zone. Looked like he was maybe trying to tap it into their zone here. Oh, 
Cohen hits that off of his leg, and that goes back root off there. Friars really effective right now in their four check. Keep trying to get a last touch on that one. Lacrosse looking to move up. Holding his man off. Really strong moves there. That was Frateroli. Looking to lay the hit at the end of that play there. That was Chase Dyer that tried to make a play there. And that's a Friar complaining about a hit. As he's gonna go off that Friar. No, he's not. He's gonna be nice. Trying to get a little more of the refs here there. I thought he was gonna call a penalty on that. Friars looking to move it forward. Friars have a lot of momentum right now as they're pushing forward here on the props. Props just seem a little out of sorts right now, a little tired after that five on three penalty kill. But here come the props. Shot on that, rebound, rebound loose. Unable to finish that one. And that was Cam Chandler that just couldn't finish that puck there in the back of the net with it being loose. He had his hands up for a second like he scored, but unable to finish. That was Pollock that just laid the big hit there over in that corner. And Rich is going to cover it up. He's going to say, hey guys, take a second. Take a second to take a breath. Rich has been playing out of his mind today. He's been making mantra saves. They've been, and he's been keeping the props in this game the whole time. And that, and that huge kill that they just had. Is, a, is gonna give them that energy boost. Fires. Great save by Rain. Unable to get that one past. I couldn't tell what happened there. I don't know if that went past him or what, because everyone seemed like there was a collective a bunch, of the in front, a bunch of bodies in front of the net. As his face off is gonna be to the left. Of rank here. Well, right of rank, left of us. Cross lose another face off. That's sent in. Rank's able to follow that up. And it just seems like the, the props are a little out of sorts here. It seems like they're on their heels a bit. They're not playing as, as strong as they were in that first period. I mean, they are getting tired from they are, they are tired from that five on three that they killed, but that was a big kill that they needed. They definitely needed. That. Oh, and here comes a breakaway here. Oh, unable to get anything out of that with Schroeder in front. Oh, batted away. Egan there trying to get that on net with the bodies in front. Rebound in front. Shot. Oh, nobody was able to clean that up. The Profs still battling here. This is where they've been effective all night. It's where they've been battling for these rebounds. That's what we like. That's going to be a slash. No interference? Interference. Profs power play. Profs, like. you're, you're going to have a chance here to get that insurance goal. But boy, were those boys working out there. Especially Egan and Schroeder. All over the zone in that one. Power play has been effective tonight. Definitely effective. Hopefully they can get one here. Cross with the face off. Shot from the point. Swallowed up. I'd like the thinking of the props here to just try to get that puck in front with a bunch of bodies inside. But maybe they should work on moving the puck just a little bit more around in that umbrella and maybe get another shot from the top with those bodies in front. Get that goalie moving here and get that defense moving. I like what they're doing. They're trying to screen the goalie That's a, out. That was a hard shot. Dyer trying to backhand that. Nothing there. Cross battling in that corner. Friars able to come up with it. And that's out of the zone here. And that's Ngara. We just hit off of the puck there. No call. Oh, and that was just over the hands of Dyer. 
as he was trying to emulate either James Bradbury or Darius Slay, <laughs> as we're going to see tomorrow at the link. <laughs> as the Pros <laughs> continue to look to move forward here, Zingaro with the puck. Oh, that's a hit from behind, and that's going to be a penalty. That was a dangerous hit. Absolute dangerous hit from behind on the defenseless player. And that's going to get the Pros a five on three here. This is big for them. This is very big for them. One minute and 10 seconds. 5-0-3 power play. The Pros should capitalize on this. That would be absolutely huge for them right now. That was a dangerous hit right there. That was a dangerous hit. Pros lose a face off. Able to regain it. Ref takes a tumble. He's all right. Puck back up the boards. Frost looking to set up here now. Get that defense moving here. Don't let them get set. Puck across. Back to the top. Back over. Back to the top of the point. Shot. Almost there. Puck in front. That's off. Yeah, the net got dislodged. That is some work there by the Frost here. Continue to move the puck. And the more you continue to move that puck, you're going to move the defense out of position. Get them tired. Do not let them get set. What I like what they're doing is they're also screening the goalie when, when they're two defensemen have the puck. That's what I like. On a 5 on 3 you got to get that puck inside. You have to. And they're just unable to keep that in. That goes past Schroeder's stick. 43 seconds left on this 5 on 3 power play. Cross will get another rush here. Set up. Great play. Great drop pass. The cross continue to look to move. Good moves. Looking for something as they set back up. Back to the point. Over. Shot. Oh! Just off the glove. Off the side of the net, too. Cross there. Rudolph. Ten seconds left on the five on three. That's going to be a little extracurriculars. As you can hear the ref saying, hey, 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 let's, let's calm down. But can never blame a team for sticking up for their goalie after a couple extra whacks, little how do you do's. Like, You're not going to touch my goal. The props look good, but they weren't getting enough pressure on that power play. They weren't really shooting the puck. They were just passing them. I mean, Providence was taking away their, their lane, so they couldn't get a shot off. The crowd here has kind of gone a little quiet here. Rowan, the props have to do something here to get this crowd back into this game. Go and certainly do that. Definitely. Puck back high. Five on three over. Still got a five on, five on four. Friars looking to move it, unable to break that out. He was looking for that forward pass to that Friar. Cross, moving back forward. Looking to set up, 30 seconds left. Looking for something. A little disjointed the prospect right now. Friar's got some good defensive pressure up on those points right now. Not really giving them anything on the inside. But this is something they should have been doing on that five on three. They weren't skating it around. And now they're really moving here. Five seconds left. Got to get some shots off here. Providence is taking all their shooting lines away. They can't get anything off. And just as the props did, Providence does the same thing to them as they kill off that five on three. Puck loose in front. Friars get there, but he falls. Cross having set back in front. Cross first one there. Try to send it out of the zone. Here's JT Zangara. One of the top points getters on this team. Puck sent in. Friars will have too much help here as he just tried to tuck that home. Good stop by Rink. Great save Another by one. Rink. The Friars 
continuing to look to find something here as they're battling. There's a little bit of a battle going on in front of the net here. That was a good net battle. Oh, and that's going to be Ardite with a big hit there. That's going to be a penalty on him, most likely. Probably going to call interference on that. Elbow. elbow. He did leave with the elbow. Oh, okay. But that was after the prof. The prof in front of him got hit after the puck was already gone. So Rink, Rink has just been incredible tonight. Oh, yeah. He has been absolutely incredible tonight. And he's just, man. He has been keeping the, the props in this game. If it wasn't for Rink, the game would be tied right now. He's kept them in this game. And that's why, that's why DeMonte went with him today. Coach DeMonte, man, he, he sees how his goalies work in practice. He sees how his players work in practice. And he's going to have another tough task ahead of him here as the, the props are on the PK once again. This could be huge for Providence if they can get something going here. And this was something we've seen from the props here, here and there for, during the season is, is their discipline. And going on that PK and giving teams the chances to get back in is Tomlin's going to send that in on net. That's just going to take a little, little bounce off the goalie. The Friars are looking to move it up with speed. Something the Friars are doing are moving with speed, but not really making anything happen out of it. They're playing a little bit of hero hockey, which is the props. You love to see it because it means it's selfish hockey. And that's going to be a goal there. As I make the broadcaster's curse yep. of talking about hero hockey, as the Friars tie this game up. That was a great shot. It went, it went right through the ring. It went right through the five hole. Nothing, nothing ring could do about that. And that was a laser of a shot. Too. It was. Absolute laser. But you get so many PKs in a game, you're going to give one up. Right. Props have to play a little more discipline here as this game is back to level. 7.09 left in the second period off of that power play goal. Cross up to move it forward. Again, it goes back to saying they've looked disjointed in this period. That five on three drained them completely. Cross looking to move it forward. Friars have a lot of energy right now, a lot of momentum. You can you can see it with the differences on the bench right now. They're all standing up on that bench right now. The props are looking for a call there. No call. Good pass across to the point. Shot on. Bat of the way. Props continue to battle here. Puck going back up. Props able to get the puck. Dump back in deep. Friars able to get there though. Props still four checking. Looking to maintain that puck, and that just went out of the hands of number 11 on the props. Will Garrison, she tried to keep that. Here go the props, have some numbers here. They're gonna go get off here, get some fresh legs as well. They've been on that for quite a while. That shift right there should give this team a little momentum. That was some really good work by the props there. That's Cutler racing back to get to the puck. Puck dump back in. Cross sending her up, up the board. Cutler is one that's tapping forward. Croft taken down, no call. Two on one though. Two on one, oh, just unable to get it. And the net was off, put back on. I think that was Chandler who could have finished that, but that was a beautiful, beautiful play by the cross there. Even get to that two on one. Great unselfish hockey. As the Pros look to move it back forward again. Seems like they have the energy now. And they need to capitalize on that energy. Friars moving forward. Lost the puck, trying to do a dangle. Cross side. Cross regain it. Moving out of the zone, into the neutral zone. With speed. Pass over. Back to the front. Looking for help. Cross. Dyer, shot. Bat into the corner. 
Cross continue to look to move here. Fred really just laid that big hit out. He's been, he's been working. So is Dyer. This line has been electric tonight. Getting chances, battling. They're taking advantage. Another great hit by Dyer. If you're Coach DeMonte, you're going to keep putting this line out there right now because they are just absolutely on fire. Yeah, definitely. That was Ingar that just couldn't get him picked it through his skate. Cohen and Rudolph out there backing the team right now. Rudolph setting it up. Cohen there. That's a fire that has lost her stick out there. But he went off for a change. Cross battling. Far boards. Now deep into the zone here. That's going to be covered up by Ring. There's just so much action going on right now, man. On both ends here. As we continue to move forward here. And the Cross, they got to capitalize on these chances. They absolutely have to capitalize on these chances. They've had multiple opportunities and they've, and they've come up short. Most of the time. As the profs are looking to regain possession here in the zone. Friars have it. Continuing the battle as they have the puck. Moving forward, dancing. But good stick play. I think that was Conlon that had that beautiful stick play there to break that play up. I said play way too many words here. Way too many times. <laughs> as the Friars regain possession. And that's Keyes that's in the far corner looking for the puck. That was a big hit. Keyes continuing to battle down there. Garrison looking to move forward. Conlon wants it. Unable to keep that on his stick, though. And that's Sean battling for the puck. Here comes, here comes the big man, Conlon, into those boards, taking his opposing player with him. And that's Sean and Conlon. Conlon in front, oh, just out of the reach of Sean. Oh, Schroeder that tried to lay a hit. Nice little toe drag there from the Friar. Shot off, don't know if that hit Rink's glove. Here's Sean, no help with him. As he sent that in the middle of the Friars, you're able to pick that up. Cross, move the puck up the zone. Batted back in by the Friars. Cross works to get there. They're going to look to move to the neutral zone. Moving it with a little bit of speed here. That's going to be an offsides. And again, it's, it's what we said. The Cross need to be a little more organized right now. Yeah. They look a little sloppy out there. I'm not going to lie. You see, you see the coaching staff working hard here. Trying to figure out what they could do to help get these guys going. Maybe try to sort of switch up the lines, maybe. I mean, it, it, could, it could work. As the cross continue to forecheck here, Friars moving it. One of the Friars is slamming their stick in frustration. Don't know what that was about, but we play on. As that puck was sent in front, but bad of the way. Don't know if a Friar hit it or if it was a cross. That puck is better than that. As this Friar is left wide open, nobody there. Great save by yeah. Ring. He had a wide open shot, too, and a great save by Ring. Great, great awareness by Ring, too. One minute left in the second period. 2-2 game. Cross hemmed in their own zone right now. Friar's getting some really good chances, and Ring just shutting the door. Cross moving forward here. Cutler waving off that hit. Again. No help with him. 35 seconds left in the second period. Color out of there. Sent back in. Props are there, props are there. And I'm sure where the puck is. 
six seconds left. And that's going to do it here in the period. As that puck is going to be in the corner there. That's going to do it for the second period. The Friars, the Friars dominated that period. They, they, if, they certainly if, did. If we were to look at this game right now, the, the Friars took it to the props right now. And it didn't help when that when that five on three penalty early on. They had their own, but they didn't really get many shots on net. Any really dangerous chances. While they had their chances, they just weren't capitalizing. But Rink has been absolutely incredible tonight as he's been standing on his head and really, really taking it to to the Friars for them and backstopping this props team. If it wasn't for, for Rink, this game would be this game would be a bomb. What would you like to see from the props here in this third period, this final period coming up? Like I said, in the first period, they have they have to sustain the pressure. They they can't be blacking off in the in the defensive zone and taking bad penalties. They have to they have to be better um, on breakouts. And that's basically it. I agree. I think they just gotta take the shots when they have the opportunities. They have their chances, and they're just not taking all the chances that they're getting. They just gotta capitalize, and I think you'll see them come out and do it. So, we're gonna take a break here, and when we come back, we'll bring you the third period of this electric Profs Friars game here at Halle Dell Arena in Sewell.
Welcome back to Saturday Night Hockey here at Hollydale Ice Arena. And Shore Crossing Cross are taking on the Providence Friars. And it's electric game tonight. 2 2 game. As the Crossing are going to look to break that tie here in the third period. Nick Butler, Chris Cazillo. All right, tonight, we've covered this game, man. It has been fireworks. It's been electric. Big hits, big shots, big saves. It's been a great game, man. Both goalies have been playing out of their minds. Both goalies have been great. It's going to be an exciting third period, man. You know, there's a reason why number 35 of the props wears an A on his chest. And, man, he has been leading by example for this team tonight. He has been showing it. Great save after great save after great save. And you know what? Seeing these boys coming out for this period, they look a little more loose than they did last period. Let's see if that's going to carry over because they need to dictate this game because they were dictating it early on in the first period. Last period, it seemed like Providence just controlled the game flow, controlled the game. Let's see if the Pros can take it back here. Puck drop goes back into the Friars zone. Friars have it. Dumped it back in deep. Pros able to get there for the four check. Puck in front. Oh. It's going to be no shot. Uh, it's going to be out of the zone. Was it touch for the high stick? I'm not sure. I, I think so. We 
listen to this music and it pumps us up. What a great sports weekend it's going to be this weekend with the cross tonight, birds tomorrow. It's been a great weekend. As the props look to continue to have that dog in them like the city of Philadelphia here. As they're fighting. <laughs> the fires look to move it. Move it forward. Kyle Rinks is gonna, gonna swallow that up, say get saved by Rink. I know you don't like these eagle jokes tonight. I do not. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big giant fan and it's it, it hurts, man. It hurts. It does hurt. I bet I bet it hurts a lot, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> It's the props are going to set up <laughs> the face-off here. Friars looking to move down deep behind the net to the left four sideboards. Back to the point. Shot on. Redirected, but Rink able to see it all the way. Got to go redirect by Rink. Friars are going to move across. Get there. Goes right to a defenseman there for the Friars. Pucks in deep. Cross got there a little slowly, but they still got there. To be Keys taking it up. Keys turned it over. They're also kind of hygienic. They look, they look hungry out there right now. You know, in the words of Jalen Hurts, they're starving. They're itching for that next goal. As the props are battling here on the four boards. We need to go get some zone time here as the props get the puck from deep behind their own net. Moving it forward. Cross turned it back over. They're having issues getting out to the neutral zone right now. And, and it just is continuing for them as, as this Friars forward check has just been so active on them right now. Friars continue with the puck here. Back to their zone. Shot from the point. Blocked. Zingara almost came up with that. Zingara strips that it away. He's going. He's got a perfect lane to the net. Tries to make a power move. Loses the puck. Dyer's got it. Calling a, they're calling a, a trip. trip. And this is a big, big, big opportunity for the props here. And we talk about changing momentum. This could change it right here. In the first period, that power play was able to get on the board and score. This could be huge for that. Collins is going to be the big man taking the face off here. If the Brass can score a goal here, this will absolutely change the way that this third period is going to go. If they go on the power play, shot on. Looks like it went a little over the net. Rudolph there. Cross looking to set back up. Cross looking for the puck down low. Well, it looked like it was shut off. Cross regain possession. Shot in front. Redirected. Oh, just able to pick up that rebound. They're going to call a hand pass there. Ooh. That wasn't a hand pass, able to get that on. That's a wide open net for the props there. So they're trying to look for the rebounds now. And that's gonna be out of the zone here. Props are gonna have to regain that, that zone again. Win this face off. They have to keep applying the pressure in that. And the props turn it over here in the neutral zone. Not a great spot to turn it over while you're on the power play. And he was just dancing, but good hit. That was Schroeder with the big hit there, just to knock him off the puck. When you're on the power play, you can't let an opposing team dance in your own zone here. No. Cross, Rudolph, shot. They need to get some really good shots from the point here. Look it again. Back to him. Lane on the net. Chooses to pass. Over. Colin had it. Rebound. Puck in front, Conlon couldn't finish that. Conlon working to keep that puck. That was just a great save. Nothing you could do about that. That was just a great save. 42 seconds left on this power play. Rudolph elected to, elected to pinch. They're gonna call that a high stick on Schroeder. Takes the puck out of the zone. You can hear the Friars bench cheering there. And they're, the Frost are getting a penalty here. Collins going to the box. What's the call here? Be 
a high stick. So, we're gonna go back on the floor for hockey for the next 32 seconds. The props will have a pretty substantial penalty kill time here. So for now, you're gonna have your offensive guys out there to try to get you that puck and hopefully get your defense out. And keep this game leveled if you cannot score on this four on four. 20 seconds left on the four on four. Friars moving up from the neutral zone. Good passing. So they dump it in deep. Cohen able to get there. The Friar just beat him there. Cross regain possession. Here comes a they two got numbers on two. if they hurry. They got numbers. Cohen. Force to the outside. Power play. Power play now for the Friars. Minute 24. There we go. That's a great play here by, by the Profs. Waste some time. Cohen is he's just going to send that forward. Get some fresh legs on the ice. It's going to be huge for, for, for the Profs if they, can, if they can kill this penalty right here. Penalty killing unit out for the Profs. They've been out there pretty pretty much a lot of the game five or six times special teams are playing a big role tonight Very. Friars moving it up entering the neutral zone looking to break through into their offensive side and they lose the puck they fail on that cross able to get there looking to at least clear it forward and they do 35 seconds left on this power play for the Friars as the Profs have been giving him issues trying to get into their blue zone here. That's a big hit by Dyer. Right right very active tonight. To the offsides. Dyer a little slow getting off the ice. Takes a lot out of you being able to penalty kill and do all that he does. He's been all over the ice tonight. And from that big hit that, that he gave. Out of you. I'm looking for him to go get a big goal tonight. He, I know he, I know he's itching for one. There's a bottle of pop there. Cross looking to move forward. And they are even strength here. That's a penalty on the cross. Be too many men? Possibly. <coughs> uh, looks like the trainer's going down to the fryer side. I'm unsure of what's happening here. Someone might be hurt on the Friars' side. It looks like someone's got their helmet off, and the trainers are currently looking at him. So it doesn't look like there's going to be a power play here. Unsure where he got hurt, if it was self-injury, a puck block, or, or what. But as of right now, all we can see is that he's getting attended to on the bench by the trainers. Hopefully everything's all right. I know the coaches are very happy that they stopped the play on the props have possession of the puck. They should have most likely waited for something to happen instead of just stopping the play while the opposite team has possession. But the props are getting up. Penalty kill here. Did they say what the call was? Put it here, but they that gave the props a little bit of time here to rest their penalty killers, which is good. Was it great clear? Cross continuing to try to kill off this penalty here. PK has been almost perfect tonight. Puck 
Almost out of the zone there. Friars able to keep it in, but no. Cross got it right back out, sent back in. Cross regained possession. And they're just going to clear the full length of the ice. 105 left to go in this power play for the Friars. The Cross continuing to forecheck here, to keep them in that, that side, make as much chaos as they can. That's a good dump back in there. Hopefully they can kill this power play so they can get some momentum on their side for the Profs. 45 seconds left to go on this power play for the Friars. And the Profs are just electric on the bench right now. You can just hear the energy from them. Chase Dyer knocked off the puck, but he's still fighting for it. He's able to get it at least up to the zone. Friars looking to set up now. 20 seconds left on their power play. The first time they've been able to set up on their power play. Friars looking for something. Props into the man wide open in front of the net. Nothing came out of it as Rink was able to come out and poke it away. Great save by Rink. Friar. Three on, but Rink able to see that all the way. Great save. Two seconds left on this Friar night. You can hear how loud this crowd is right now down there. A lot of chirping, a lot of chirping going on. Nothing wrong with it. Crofts loses face off, shot on by the Friars. And Rink's just gonna toss that up, and that's gonna go into the netting, and the Crofts kill off that penalty. Still not sure what it was for, I wish I knew, but. <laughs> it just shows you how crucial Rink is to this Crofts team. And that was just great penalty killing by them. By, by the Pros in general, their, their, their PK unit. The Pros are gonna move up here. They're gonna have numbers. Just unable to, that's a big save by the Friars netminder there. That was the first time he might've seen the puck in a while. That was a great shot. It looked like that was Chandler. who got that shot off. That was Joshua Pollock who was coming with him. Cross win possession of the faceoff here. Dumped in. Cross first to get there. Battling in the boards. Coming around. Cutler tried to send it into somebody. Able to get there though. Nick Thomas down there. Down to Pollock. Pollock with the hit. Regaining possession of the puck. Send it in the middle. Great defense. The Crofts are just battling. They're just battling right now. Friars moving forward. Crofts, though, with the energy. That's hustle to get there first. That was a great intercept. The Friars continue to look to dance. Oh, it's a, a big, big hit laid out by Schroeder. Cutler lost his stick down there, we're able to regain it. Schroeder's got some energy right now. Oh, and that's a turnover. And that's a goal! Oh. They're pulling no goal. Off. I thought for sure that was in the net. And they're calling no goal as of right now. And that's going to be the second one tonight that was called off. That's the second one that was called off. Looked like the puck entered the back of the net. We're going we're gonna to see. The refs are going to talk about it here. It looked like the puck did cross the line. It was a great move. Maybe the goalie was interfered with? I have no idea. It was a great move by Schroeder. It was. And he came down, he even followed up with his own rebound. It looked like it went in and the goalie had to pull it back. Right. Maybe he made contact with the, with the goalie's pad something. We're gonna see here, we're gonna see what happens. It's very interesting right now. It's the second over called, to overturn goal of the night. This will be a big call here. The refs are talking it out right now with the cross bench. As it stands, this is a 2-2 hockey game. And 
it's going to stand as a no goal. Well, the Browns are ready. You can hear that energy from them. They know they can score on this guy. That's a big hit there by Schroeder. He's ready. He wants one. Rudolph moving forward here with speed. Shot. Just unable to get a rebound. That was a hard shot, but a good save. The props, they got some energy right now. They're buzzing. They're buzzing for a goal. Props leading in for the faceoff here. And the Friars come up with it. It's going to be an icing. Cohen able to beat back the Friar. That's going to be a face-off once again. Should be some tired guys on the ice, potentially. Cross needs to win the face-off here. Cross sending it in. Cohen first one to the puck. Cohen sending it in deep, shoulder. Ooh. Just unable to get to that with Sean. Cowan battling right now. Rudolph knocked down. Hit Rudolph stick. Conlon there. There goes Rudolph. Great move. Oh, they got numbers. They, they got, got numbers. numbers. Rudolph moving. Oh, that was a great defensive play. Rudolph sending them deep. No pressure there, though. It's like Garrison that was there. Shut on. Pucks are loose. Can be covered up. And that was Sean that was battling down there. And that was that was Garrison that came in that was able to get that puck before it came out of the zone too. A lot of wax at it, but uh, the goalie still comes up with it. They've had a bunch of they've had a great a bunch of great chances. One of them eventually is going to go in the back of the net. The, the ice almost seems a little tilted right now as the Cross are just hemming in the Friars in their own zone. Cross looking to move forward. That was Zingari that went down to the knee. Dyer, first one to get there. Zingari fighting for it. Along with Dyer. And that's going to go out of play. And the Frost are doing what we're saying. They're battling, they're working. They just, they just got to keep at it. They're doing everything they're supposed to. It's just not going to the back of the net. You just got to keep whacking at it. You keep whacking at it, and eventually it will go in the net. And this is not one of those times where you get frustrated. You got to no. keep battling. That's all. And you got to be disciplined. You can't be taking bad penalties. That's Egan that set it up. The boards. Egan back to it. Pollock sent it out. Egan. First one there again. Egan. That's something that the pros do really well. And Coach DeMonte lets that defense activate and get good chances. And when the defense moves up, they get these chances, as you've seen tonight. And the Friars look to move it up. They're yeah, very physical. Very, very physical. Friars screen up those far boards. A little, little scrum there, not much. Cutler moving it up. Oh, still behind. And that was just off of the stick. Ripped off. Cross looking to move in. As they're battling. They continue to battle here. Friars with possession. They're looking to enter into the neutral zone. Sent it in. Two on two for them. Cross able to break up that play. Cross looking to move here. Has some speed. 
Blocked off. Fucking son. Cross making the smart move to not pinch there. Shot off the end boards. That was hard. Hard. Imagine having to block that. Oh, that wouldn't be fun. Cross looking to move forward again. He's doing a neutral zone. 6.50 left in this final period of the game here. Friars moving it up. A little bit of back and forth here. A little bit of ping pong. As we're seeing. And that's going to go out of play as that was blocked. That was a great block. Six thirty-five left to go here at Hollydell Ice Arena in Sewell, New Jersey. If you haven't been to a game out here, I highly suggest it. It is an amazing atmosphere to be down here. And overall, watch games, whether it's the Rebels next door, the Philadelphia Ice Hockey Club, the Rowan teams, the men's and women's. It's just such a good time to just come down here and watch. We got dumb laps up here as well. Highly suggest it if you haven't come out for a game. As the Prowse are looking to move there, get some good passes. Unable to continue to connect there. Friars able to move it, but that's Colin. Able to grab the puck. Is that ricocheted off of the boards a little weird and came backwards at them. Don't know if there's the angle. Oh, Schroeder unable to get up with that. Whipped on the puck. Puck sent in front, broken up by a prof. Colin has had a really active stick tonight. Been really good for this team. Cross it, first one there. Wave off the icing. There's no problem there. Up and they're able to keep it in. That was Keys. Over to Pollock. <coughs> Down across. Shot on. Behind the net. Keys there. Conlon. Able to take his time. Turns. Looking at front puck. Not there. Able to keep it in. No. And that just went off for the stick of McDonald. This play is to good. They've been off for quite a while. As the cross here, giving the Friars some numbers, but able to get back defensively. Good, good play there by Keys. A great defensive play. Puck move forward. Cross continuing to look to forecheck into the zone effectively here. Moved up. Back into their zone. Friars moving into the neutral zone. Block off. Great block. Another block by the props here. Here you go. Props getting some numbers here. They're moving with those legs. That's Ingara who is just taken down there. Leaving the puck. Cutler sends it in deep. The Friar was able to get to that. Fans start to get in this game as you hear the Let's Go Rowan chant. Here go the props again with some numbers. Oh, you got three on two. You gotta move. That's just a great defensive play. The Friars have been very, very good at breaking up these odd man rushes for the props. They're gonna look to go get some, some new fresh legs out there as Rudolph again is activating and moving into the zone. Send it back down the board. That's the Cutler. Cutler, shot on, tried to get a redirection. That's Dyer, Dyer almost got that puck there. Cutler sends it in deep. Dyer able to get there. Cross took a tumble. Some numbers there. The Rick's, gonna, Rick's gonna hit that into the ceiling. Oh, Dyer takes a tumble there. Incidental contact, don't think anything. Malicious out of that one. This both players is gonna skate away. No damage. Remember, if you're gonna come down and watch a game here, bundle up. It is a little chilly. We're doing our little stay warm dance up here. From our little bird's nest. <laughs> Called the owl's nest, how's that sound? Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Stick with the, the prop theme here. <laughs> As the Friars look to move it in deep. Cross continuing the battle, that's Rudolph down there. 
That looked hard. Agavaria. Back into the point. Shot on. Ooh. Oh. That's off, but they're gonna call that a goal. The net was off, but they're gonna call that a goal. And I'm not really sure if that should have been a goal. If they were gonna call those other goals off earlier, that should be one that's called off as well with the net being off of its hinges. But it looks like they're gonna keep that as a good goal. They should review it, but I don't think they will. Crazy. And the face-off, the Friars have it. And now, for the first time tonight, the Profs are playing from behind. With 2.43 left in this third period, they're gonna have to battle. Keep your eyes on Rink here. At some point, we're gonna see DeMonte, Coach DeMonte, call for him to come to the bench. And you hear him telling his team every shift work. He's looking for some sort of answer here from his guys. Good play. That's a great play. Cross is just going to send that up the boards. This is not the time to be just sending home run passes. As a friar ran into the rink there, and rink was asking, hey bud, you all right? That's a little into that contact. And you can hear Coach Devontae on the bench telling his guys to wake up. Right. Well, you got a hockey game, still a couple more minutes here. 155 left to take a tie this game on senior night here for the profs. As this is gonna be out of the zone here. Jerome's gonna call their timeout here. Good this idea. is going to be huge. If they can win the faceoff here, I highly expect Rink to go to the bench. Definitely. Get the sixth man on, get into the zone, and get some pressure. They've scored on this goalie twice already, had both goals taken away. You can do it again. I didn't think they were going to allow the goal that happened down here because of the net dislodge, but... As it stands, it's a 3-2 hockey game right now. As the Friars are leading it. We'll see. Coach DeMonte and his coaching staff are currently drawing up a play. Again, we'll see what happens. If, if the Profs can win this faceoff, Rink's got to go to the bench. They have 55 to, left. Gain possession, get to the zone, and attack. That's they, it. They have to get a good breakout. You can't make long passes. You have to make short and concise passes. And this is what we were talking about, getting complacent. They got complacent. They stopped moving the puck north to south. They started getting fancy, and they were going east to west instead of north to south. That's a problem. You gotta keep going north. You gotta attack, you gotta attack. When you're getting fancy, when you're trying to make plays and dangle around everybody, it's not gonna work. When you have your shots in front of the net, shoot. Shoot for those rebounds, and it's something that we haven't seen them do a whole lot of in these last two periods. They've gotten away from it in the first period. In the first period, they were killing it. They they had the momentum, they had they were given up pressure, and then the second and third period, it just went downhill. Let's see. Let's see what Coach Monte was able to draw up here. Let's see. Face offs here. Good win. Cross able to win it. Need to get out of the zone. Need to keep moving forward. Just out of the reach. The cross have to move out here. It's Rink's got to come off the ice if they can maintain possession. If they can get, here he goes. Here he comes. And the extra attacker is going to be on here for the props and they're on. And it's going to be, it's going to be Zingara? That it's going like to be Zingara. Ice, that looks like an icing. And that should be an icing. If we hear somebody yell, that's a deflection. Uh, I don't think so, but no. this is going to be in the opposite end with the icing here. Let's see what the props have. You need to win possession, get set up, and take shots under the net, get in front of the goalie, create traffic. That is the best way. And here Pro comes the timeout. Providence just called their timeout. This is a big, big, big chance for the Profs in the offensive zone. Win the faceoff, 
get your goal scorers out there, and take shots at the net. The biggest thing Create they have, that traffic. The biggest thing they have to do is win the faceoff and actually and screen the goalie. Every chance they get, they have to screen the goalie. If make, I was, make, make sure they can't see it. If I was Coach Devontae, I'm putting Conlon right in front of the goalie here. Oh, yeah. I'm putting the big Definitely. body right in front of the net, taking away his eyes and getting some cross, cross passes if you can. Make the defense move. You'll get some good shots. You're going to have to sell out your down one. If you get scored on, it is what it is at this point. But you need to battle and you need to fight to get that goal. You have a chance. They have a chance here. They need They need to win this face-off. This is crucial here. They do need to win this face-off. Uh, the timeout's almost done here. As they're still talking it over on the Prof's bench. I think they were drawing up a play. Right. The Prof's is going into the face-offs here. They're able to win possession. Shot blocked. Here come the Friars. Onto the net. Ross, got to move it. 105 left to go. They got numbers. That's going to be an interference. Is that going to be a Prowse power play? This is looking like it's going to be a six on four. Look like interference. Look like it. This is going to be huge for the Prowse. Absolutely huge. Six on four. You have a two man advantage. You have to win this next face off. Is a Prowse is a prof down? Prof looks like he's down right now. Can't see who it is. It might be Conlin? Oh, no, it's not Conlin. I see Conlin on the bench. I see a two. So I don't know who it is. There's a prof is being tended to right now by the medical staff and the trainers here. And you can hear kind of a hush over this crowd. gathered around, just giving them a minute to talk it out, come up with a play. Sad to see that happen. You never want to see someone hurt. Looking like he's going to be coming off the ice here. Multiple blood profs are coming over. He's down. This isn't good. It's never a good sign. He's... And that's Jacob McDonald is being helped off of the ice right now by a couple of the cross. It's never good when you see a player leaving, leaving any sort of, of arena, not off their own power. And he is not putting any weight on that left leg. And he is in a lot of pain. to bring the bench over here. If I were the profs here, I would put Co Conlon in front of the net. Oh. I, if I were the profs, I would have put Conlon out here so that we could, uh, for a big body in front of the net. This is where your goal scorers come to play, though. Your playmakers and your goal scorers. Let's see if the profs can answer the bell. Cross, 42 seconds left. Power play on, two man advantage. Pucks turn over. That's gonna be dumped in the zone. They only got 33 seconds left. That's not gonna be an icing as they are on the power play. And that's a turnover here, but able to get it back is Zagara. Cross got a move. Cross looking to set up, 19 seconds left. Ooh, just missed that. Cross, we're gonna find something. 
10 seconds. And that's gonna do it here. And the Prowse are gonna lose this one in a heartbreaking fashion here on senior night. The two, di the two disallowed goals and bad play. But the Prowse just did not have any help tonight from the refs. And this is the game where they battled. They did. So, Chris, it's a great call in this game with Team Knight. The Profs are going to lose this one, three to two in regulation on Team Knight, and the Profs are not happy about it. We'll see you guys next time here on RTN. Good night. <laughs>